it's 9:30. I'm going to call the uh, I'm going to call the meeting to order. And um, Leon, did you want to start off say anything? Yeah, no, I was just uh, concerned citizen coming to me with a bunch of information that I read through and uh, looked into. I called the local business, the local government center yesterday, and talked to um, uh, the lawyer over there. And uh, it was interesting talking to him because I don't know if it's a, a legal thing that lawyers say that they'll never contradict another one or what, what you know, their response is if they, if one doesn't agree with another, it seems like they'll just say, oh, then we advise you to go with your legal counsel because that's who's going to be representing well, you they, in they, court. They, they usually say that because the, our legal counsel is the ones that we're paying to represent us. It's just like, I mean, it's nice to have uh, the local government center so you might get a different feel, but like when it comes to issues like this, they frequently will say you need to, you need to come, you know, contact your, your counsel. So I guess the, the question here is is the uh, recommendations that we have on the 21 articles and um, you know I don't know what to say but like I know that we've got our legal advice and I know I've got additional legal advice and uh, from what I'm told it's oh you know it's okay for us to do that you know an argument against it I've heard is that well. Even if you prevail in court, you're going to incur a cost that's going to put the town's budget in the pinch. And, you know, that may be true, but if we go to court and we prevail, then that opens the door for future years where we're going to have, in the, you know, next year, then when the, when the warrant comes out, there will be no question about it that, you know, selectmen could put their recommendations there if they, if they like. I maintain the same, the same as I did. And, you know, we've, we've beat this thing uh, to death, and in the end, what it comes out comes down to is, uh, you know, maybe the average citizen doesn't realize that um, there's been changes to the law and there's been additions and deletions to the law, but <clears throat> that's why we pay the lawyer, and um, it's important for us, I think, as an elected body, to give what our recommendations are to the public based upon what information has come into this office. And because, let's face it, 80% of the people don't have time to attend every meeting. Um, probably higher than that. So they're looking, a lot of people are looking to us. It happens to me all the time. I'll be out here doing something, working on that, that snow sculpture for the library or anything. And people will come up and Ask what is this about? What is this about? They're not. They're they're looking to you to to uh, give them uh, our opinion because that's what they elected us to do. And people do value our opinion. I heard the same thing happen to me at the sign when I'm out doing the sign. People will pull in and then you know we'll chew the fat and we'll talk about issues in town. And um, from what little I pick up around, that it's it's amazing how information changes so quickly when it passes word of mouth from one to the other and so by the time it comes back to you it doesn't represent what was said. But you know this this RSA, RSA 32 colon 5 comma Roman numeral 5 dash little a you know that was added to that RSA July 1st 2013 and uh, the legislator added a provision for which most part creates the authority for the town to to uh, be able to do what we're doing. You know, they could force us to print recommendations. Uh, that's never been on the ballot. Uh, but uh, apparently we, we have the right to do that. So um, I, at this point, at this point, it, you know, it, I think this sends another message if we take it off. I mean, how, how wishy-washy are we going to be looking? If we put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. You know, let's call up. Let's call up the state department. See what they say. If they say one thing, we'll go this way. I, uh, I'm, I am of a mind just to stick with what we have. You know, and I don't want the town to incur more legal costs at right. all. That's about the last thing I want. Yeah, but, and know. that's my only real worry because you know, to me, I've been voicing the meeting. You know, our last meeting that we had. There. I don't think it's going to really sway the vote on those particular ones that it's on one way or another, whether we're on it. So. To me, I don't think it really matters whether it's on there or not. You know, 
Yeah, that's what you and, said at the last meeting. Yeah, so. and so it's, you know, I would really play on this kind of the safe side of things and, and not go down that road of a yeah. possible yeah. lawsuit and stuff like that, um, you know, because I, said, I don't know if you guys saw that letter I sent the lawyer or whatever, the lawyer asking her if it does go to court, because uh, I think it was asked at a deliberative session, somebody asked if it does go to court, you know, obviously lawyers you know, going to be benefiting from that, you know, their firm and money and stuff. And That's true. And, and I think you mentioned that in the past, if they were wrong, they have advised us incorrectly that they had covered some cost yeah. of that. Right. And I asked her on that, and she said that they wouldn't cover that any what, cost. If, if they go to court and lose, they wouldn't. But, like, I think in that one time that I cited, she just plain had some advice that was wrong, and she advised us of that right away. And it wasn't a situation where we went to court, it was just advice, and she went back on and said, well, you know, I'll refund you that. If we if this goes to court and uh, we lose, yeah, they're not going to, you know, we're going to be out that money. Yeah. Um, and I, they know they've got a lot of calls from the Mitchell Group, <laughs> from from apparently all three of us now regarding this. So they know it's uh, on our mind, and uh, we're not doing it uh, thoughtlessly. I think we put a lot of thought. Yeah, <clears throat> I thought about it a lot. The, the uh, you know originally when I first started as a selectman, um, I was kind of under the opinion that um, you know the voters can make up make up their own mind um, on the ballot and why why would we necessarily need to do that and as time went along and more people started asking questions and, and wanting advice I understood the reason for it and, and the theory behind it and why it was important and and that's where that's when I came to realize the, the importance of it. Um, the other the other half of this, and is the reason that uh, would not change my opinion on this particular thing is um, this town has become um, subject to a type of um, bullying by lawsuits, and I am not going to in my position, let that sway my vote because what's happening is it's breaking down the way that the town should operate and the, the system that's set up, the system of government that's set up in town and that's what it's intended to do. Um, so I'm not interested in doing that. Um, there's a reason that system's in place. It does work if you follow the system. And when someone tells you they're going to sue you, you do your research, you, you check with everybody that you possibly can, and you stand your ground. Because if you, if you keep putting your tail between your legs and running from every time someone tells you you're going to be sued, the town, the town system will fall apart. So I'm not going to do it. And that's just simply what it comes to. And um, my, my uh, thought on that is we made our decision and I, I like to stick to it. You know, and it's not like I haven't looked. I've had discussions with people. I understand what they're saying about the, uh, that RSA coming from the budgetary uh, section of the RSAs. I understand the argument, but like I know I've had our legal counsel weigh in and I've had my, our legal counsel's boss weigh in on it. And I just feel confident that uh, we're within our legal realm doing this, and I think we should continue and go ahead. So, I guess that's it. Can you take a vote, please? No. I think we've already said what we're going to do. Is this unanimous, this decision? Um, I think you're out of order. We're, we're not changing anything, so we don't need to take a vote. We'll take a vote so we won't change Someone anything. Someone may have changed their mind in the process. Are you not allowing them to speak? They did speak. I allow everybody to speak. I'm also allowing you to speak when you don't really have a voice at the table here. I mean, oh, I, I don't necessarily need to take a vote. Um, I don't know how Leon feels. Well, we could vote if we want. Okay, you know, and, uh, let's let's... Let's make a motion and second it and take a vote. I'll make a motion to take a vote, even though I don't think it's necessary. Okay, I'll Thank second you. it. 
So all in favor of taking a vote, say aye. 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 Okay, now the vote. The vote's going to be whether um, to leave the ballot as it is. Leave the ballot as it is. All those in favor of doing that, say aye. 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 All those opposed? So it's... Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay, we're adjourned. Thank you very much. Um, I love my phone outside. Yeah, very nice.